Uh, hello. I am doing pretty good. And as a matter of fact, I, this is uh, I'm actually gonna be finishing this game today and starting another game, a funny su a surprise game. Let's uh, get me on the screen already. Get me on the screen. I'm doing all right. I hope you are too. Um, where is it? It's so many scenes. And sometimes, it's kind of hard to keep track of. Uh, where did I put that? Oh. We now... Oh. Got a latest follower. Here we go. A new latest follower. Let me just... As a matter of fact, let's probably switch back to this. And then... Where is it? Where the... Yeah. Alright. If there was... Maybe. Sweet! The name goes on the board! Okay. And... That... And then... No, that's a three. <laughs> yep. And the latest... I put a three for some reason. Then I erased it and put a two. There we go. Fresh on the board. I do not have a gift list thing. Because I don't. Uh, that D look. Uh, that D is looking mighty unhealthy. Yeah. And a dot. There we go. Got that set up. Got some pretty neat music going on. Let's get to going. Where is it? So last time, uh, our hero, who we have learned is named, J who in this playthrough has learned that he himself is named Jason Fly. I, I stream on uh, Saturdays and Wednesdays. Those are my two days that I stream. You, uh, I, I go for 7 p.m. EST today. I'm about five to ten minutes late. Now I gotta ask, was that your intent to begin with? Because I don't purely do follow for follow. Also, my my main account's kind of meh. I'm trying to cut back on my follows on my main my main Twitter account associated with this Twitch page. Oh, yeah, it's cracking skin. Yikes. Uh, I will say though that if you're asking for follow for follow, you're gonna get like no engagement. So I honestly don't really see the point. <laughs> That's the thing. There are a set number of things that I follow, and I usually don't add much. But yeah, right there. Wednesday Eastern Time, 7 p.m. Uh, Saturdays, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And I do announce every stream on Discord and Twitter, so there's that. Uh, Saturday stream is going to be the next part of GTA Liberty City Stories, as I'm building up to play a different game with a friend of mine on Saturdays after I beat Liberty City Stories. But uh, enough explaining meta shit, let's get into the game. Last time, Jason Fly was found out that it was found out by a lot of different people. That he is not, in fact, Steve Rowland. He is not number 13 of the conspiracy. Uh, not a group stream, but it is a co-op game I'm playing. Uh, or at least, it, when I finish Liberty City Stories. Where is the scene? Where did I put it? 
Where did I put it? There it is. That is not the right one. There we go. That is not the... How many times am I gonna get it wrong before I get it right? That many? <laughs> okay. So, we're on the SSH-1 base admission. Yes, it is going to be a multiplayer stream. I have not announced it yet. That's the thing. This is me announcing it. This is the last thing we saw last time. About the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Psst. My name's not really Colonel Marshall. Uh, yes, it is going to be a multiplayer game. Multiplayer stream. Maybe a call over Discord at the same time? I'm not sure. That all sort of depends. Right now, I only have the lock pick and the grapple hook. We gotta follow. We gotta follow Walt, Wally Sheridan. We gotta follow Mr. Sheridan. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Senator Sheridan. Yes, Mr. President. The president's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. That. Nope. That one. This is a game that does not have a run toggle, does not have a run key, it is a walk key. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go you shoot. didn't know Senator Operations Sheridan. To be launched. Find another way in. You got it, dude. Can't. I don't have the key for that. When I did a, I did a couple of, so I did a couple of like speed runs on my own time of the whole game. Two of them, in fact. And when I was trying to get through, I'd be like, "Let me out! Let me out!" Open the door! Open it, please! I wanna go fast! Good day, <laughs> Good day, you. Oh, uh, uh, good evening, Colonel. Good evening. Yes, I am. Yes, I am real, Colonel. Oh! oh. Musician. Shut up! God, every second of that was worse and worse. Doug would be very disappointed if he knew who that guy was. Yes, sir. Colonel Marshall has left the premises. <laughs> you want to bet? No, I hasn't. I am still here. Oh wait, uh, get the key. Open the gate. I've pract I've done this so many times, I got this down. Tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a smack! Yeah. Now, you do not want to immediately pick up a weapon because you need to unlock the door. Uh, I just, um, okay, then. I'll go with this. Okay, you open the door, 
And now the next part. All personnel, man your stations. Operation Total Red ready to commence. Oh. Nailed it. Okay. Remember to hide the bodies. That has not been a, that has not been an important factor until just this split second when they decided it's an important factor. Put this here. There's a reason for that. You'll find out momentarily. I do like how the little comic panels will show you, will show you like, actual live footage. The comic panels are not pre-recorded. They're actual, like, separate game cameras that show the other characters in the game. Which is why you can use it to get a third-person view of yourself beating this guy with a chair. <laughs> okay. Now, you might be wondering, why are you putting them there? Well, you see, if I go all the way back here, there's this guy. Shut up! There's this guy. That's why you that's why you put this guy in here. And now he can sleep with his foot. Next chair. I failed three times in a row in my own on my own playthroughs because I left that guy in the hallway trying to go fast. Okay. Careful. <laughs> uh oh. The sound cut out. Okay, no, he didn't hear me. Got him. So it should be smooth sailing on to the next level. I should not be putting that guy here. Also, there's this. This is a thing I didn't, I literally did not notice until, I want to say, the last playthrough I did where I noticed this vent. Doesn't do anything for you strategically. It just gives you a first aid kit, so, I guess, there is that, that it, it does do that for you strategically. You get an extra first aid kit. Uh, oh, right. I can bring this with me. Is requested at the Next step. Close the door! Close the door! Close the door! Close the door. Oh, okay. The reception office guy is right there. And you really want to be careful. Ah. He's blind. Me. Okay. They can't hear him anymore. They all went to sleep. They all had to go to bed. Wait. Wait a minute. Nope. Is he gonna come down this way? No, he's leaving. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Don't mind that camera. It's watched by this guy. Be careful. Because while there is a camera here that will not detect you, the camera down at the end there will. Yeah, this one? That will detect you. And if I don't take this guy out, he will see me in that camera. Ah! So that's where he went. <laughs> that's where that guy went. That's the guy I was like... See, he walks in here, 
and he opens this locker. <laughs> that's why. That's why I was confused. <laughs> there he is. All right, everybody's accounted for. Let's just grab this ashtray. Look for this guy to turn around. Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shut up! No, you don't! Alert! No, you don't! Now come with me! Yeah, you can just chop him in the back of the head. Do not chop! <laughs> okay. Not the best stealth, but definitely not the worst I've done at this part. Give me that. I got an ad break. I think my I think my buddy Jason Fly over here is gonna just yeah. So I have a game in mind that I did some last minute testing, which is why I was like ten minutes late for the stream. I should have I should be able to do some I I think I have a a solution that should work. Okay. And I eat your consciousness. The double. Wow, the rare double grunt. Way ahead of you. Oh, wait. Um. No, wait. You take a fine day to do it. By the way, where the hell are my bodyguards? That is President Galbrain. As a matter of fact, sir. Not a member of the conspiracy. Calvin, give you some change, Mr. President, sir. The spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of total day. Those hotheads? Confound it! Not one machine on this base. <sighs> but, Mr. President, nothing but the dregs of society recruited by McCall. Mr. President. But if you feel they're the best, Calvin. There he goes. Oh, another guy. I missed you while we grabbed the broom. What? Alert! Shut up! Are you gonna alert the deaf president over there? Okay. All right. Oh boy. I missed it. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure I missed it. <laughs> Bathroom party. <laughs> the thing that sucks is that I'm going to need oh, I'm going to need a knockout weapon. I'm gonna need a knockout weapon for this next part. What does the level transition do? It removes your held weapon. I don't want these. Oh, I spilled a very small amount of water because my floss is in the way. There we go. Thankfully, I have this. Cooper here. I was to escort President Galvin to the control station, but I haven't heard anything. Can you find out what's up? Okay, over. Oh. Put the gun away, fly. Careful. Get rid of that guy. Why is this toy? I don't know, bud. Why don't you try to figure it out? Rid of him. Now there is a part. Please note this part for later. This guy for later. And I'll bring him up again after that room. 
Being, I'm being vague on purpose. Okay. A first aid kit. Some ammo, and he had a first aid kit, I think. Uh, some minigun ammo. Four of those. All those weapons are just decals, they're not real. So even if I, even if I could get in there, they wouldn't actually do anything for me. Yeah, those, those pistols and rifles are just decals. Okay. So this door was locked. And now it's not. That room, over there. Uh-oh. Get out of my way, you stupid comet panels. Okay. No, you don't. The hell is wrong with you? You're gonna get somebody killed, namely me. Here we go. Wait for it. Come on. Did I ha nope, he's over there. Whoa! I missed! Oh yeah, the easy way. Nope, I missed. I got him? I don't want to use too many of the- Finally, the guy that was with McCall at the military base, when they were holding, uh... They were holding, uh, sh not Sheridan. There will always be soldiers for the cause. Man. Get me out of here. Okay. I'll get you out of there. I'm gonna get you out of there. You don't belong in there. My God. Call off all operations before it's too late. The door didn't open. Take the president to a safe place and find Sheridan. Close contact. Hold on. So, here's the thing. I tried multiple times. Now, he, now, um... I forget his name. I'm gonna say Colonel. The guy. Adam West, we can call him, because that's his VA. Adam West's character says to bring him to a guy. So I had the idea, what if I kept this guy conscious? No, that doesn't work. There is a scripted guy you need to take uh, the president to. There is a scripted man that you need to bring the president over to. You can't bring him over to the armory. That guy will not, that guy despawns if you don't take him out. I was actually able to get it to happen, and it, it did nothing for me. Well, there's Sheridan. Hey, look! A dickhead!
Sorry, Mr. President, gonna put you down. Sorry, Mr. President, I gotta let you down. True range. Realistic shotgun. Goodbye. Oh, why? Why did you move out of the way? I was gonna get you with that. Bunch of AR ammo and the grenades. I know it's in this next room, and I don't like him. What the? I don't like that guy. <laughs> you can tell because I blew him up instead of dealing with him myself. <laughs> okay, none of these lockers open, so no bother, no use checking them. All right, let's just reload that, reload that, let's go Mr. President. It's the opposite of get down Mr. President, get in my arms Mr. President. Yeah, we need to bring it to the scripted man right here. This way, Colonel. Quick. Oh, look out. Just leave him right here. You got it. Also, um... Hold on. Oh. Yeah, these bullet... Th those, uh, bullet trails are not supposed to be, uh, coming through the wall. <laughs> Mr. President, can you hear me? Okay. He's breathing. Yo, open the door! Open the door. Ah! Oh. That's what I get for showing off game features, I guess. This does not really bode well for the, uh, the upcoming battle. What is the upcoming battle? Oh, you'll see. Got him. Okay. <sighs> the spads are plotting a coup. These guys. They must be neutralized. Okay. Good luck, Colonel. I heard everything. I'll notify Colonel Amos. Yeah. Colonel Amos. Amos. Number one. We've got him. Calvin Wax. The man who met with Sheridan in the, in the, Sheridan in the lobby. Hey, that's Colonel Marshall over there. Yeah, Help. Colonel Marshall. Be careful. There's a lot of them. I'll get you out. Damn, didn't work. All right, give me that. Two full health, two full med kits, some AR ammo. This door is locked. Hey, look, nothing. I don't know about you, but I don't remember there being a wanted poster here. Okay. Pick the lock. Pick both locks. Okay. Here we go. I've got no AR grenades. All assault teams are in position around the One, two, three, four. There are four of them. Prepare to die! <laughs> Joke's on you! It's bulletproof for you as well! <laughs> okay. Maybe those guys with the berets aren't higher rank, and they're just stupid. Listen to me. We can still negotiate. No, we can't. I'm not letting you take over the whole ding gang world. 
Look at that track! Ooh! Okay, two guys. Oh, there's also that guy. Alright. So then where are these guys again? Okay, they're directly above the door. More or less. I see it. Alright. Ow! My ears! <laughs> oh, I have two more of those. Sweet! Wait. Where'd he go? Oh. There he goes. Alright. More minigun ammo. Four more AR grenades. Um. And... This one. And a first aid kit. It's really kicking up the song. No, you don't. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. He shooted himself and I blocked it. No, I didn't. Damn it. No, yeah, I did. Okay. So there was a card he had. He also fell on this big stupid button. I fell on that big old button. <laughs> All right. It's Carrington. We've located Carrington. Thank you. No one knows the access code for the missile control room. Find him and abort the process. It's your only chance. <laughs> All right. Come on out. 2000 megatons ready to blow right under us. Come on. We've got to leave the base. I'd Mr. rather not lose a quarter of the country. Code, quick. The code? Yes, please. This way. If I live through this, I'm going into marketing. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna need these for later. Having finished this combat section, time for the next one. Code. Code. Oh, what is the code? BX420. No. No. This is a scripted sequence, so if you're trying to speed through this game, you have to listen to that every time. Out of my way, Sheridan. Alright, time to do Carrington Proud. The self-destruct procedure. With 42 bajillion gram units of uh, horrible nuclear annihilation below our feet. Oh boy. Boy howdy, we're all gonna die if I'm not careful. Or if I'm not fast. A little bit of bull. Commencing final phase of destruction sequence. I gotta get in there. Get those. 
This is not good. Oh boy, the button, the deactivation button. <laughs> I knew what that did. What I what I did was wrong. I knew what I did was wrong, and I did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not that bad. <laughs> oh boy, the deactivation button. I unironically pushed that during one of my own, like, own time playthroughs. Ha <laughs> ha! Phew! The deactivation button! <laughs> Joke's on you, snake! I mean, fly! That was the activation button! <laughs> that? I'm not gonna need half this ammo, but you know what? Whatever. Don't wanna forget that. Hair tickling my hand. I know I'm gonna need this. So, this is not good. Activate the thing. Yeah. Tick tack. Okay, now we go into this door and damn it. Okay, now we go into this door and damn it. Let's do this. When all else fails, blow it up! <laughs> yeah! Okay. That was probably very loud. Let me just, let me just tech this right here. Yeah, that's kind of loud. Alright. The last checkpoint in the game. I'm not gonna need that. Okay. So there's a bit of a trick to this fight, and I've learned a pretty fast way to do it. First of all, you can just crouch to go down. And yes, every time you die, you do need to climb all the way down this ladder. Okay. Here we go. The climactic final battle. Greetings, number 13. Or is it Jason? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone. Okay, mongoose. There we go. And you go like this. Come on, fly. A few shots on either side. Just stun them. And then... Grenade his ass. Now for this next one. This next part is a bit of a procedure to go with it. I saw which way he ran, so I'm gonna go to the opposite side. You wanna pull out this gun, and when he comes out at you. He is going to run at you. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just... A little bit less. He's going to run at you with wild abandon? Over here. I think he's... Oh. He's not going to stop running at you until you do enough damage to him, so you want to just keep firing on him. That guy is a, that guy is a med kit. So make sure you pick that up. So I know where he is. I forgot to heal. <laughs> okay. Also, this resets to 50 over 300 every time, no matter what. There's a faster way to go down. Yeah. You know, I couldn't tell you. I'm not sure. 
This is an Ubisoft game, so different company. I need the I need the uh, I need the uh, I need the M16. I can pull it out before he comes out. I can pull it out before he uh, before he comes back around. There we go. Uh oh. There he is. Find me. If you're so clever, then find me. Okay. And it purposely focuses your attention on this guy. So that you can't just follow him. Over here! Wrong side. Found ya. I know where you are. And he won't stop chasing you until you do a certain amount of damage. I'm Jason Fly, and you are dead! This way. Do not fall off. Because even though I have killed him, I can still die myself. Falling off instantly kills you, and the last checkpoint is the one up there. <laughs> Not my favorite part. The one where I run all my guns empty because I win. What camera did I end up with? Well, okay. Stand Not that bad. Can, I'll take you out myself. Yeah, okay. Come on. Let's e back now. Okay. You magnificent <laughs> son of a bitch. Yeah, about an hour. Are you okay, Wally? <laughs> Is it really over? Yeah. You bet your ass. information about my past general son the day I recruited you I didn't ask for your resume I've always hired my boys based on their skills and you were a cut above hmm what about Jones you always appreciated her discretion hey she's invited to maybe she'll know something blah 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 where's my chair Blah, blah, blah. Wait, my cat. Nope, no, sir. Not the none of this chair. The final segment. Every good story needs an epilogue, right? Oh. That's the guy from the Plaza Hotel. Yes, he is. 
It's a great honor. Getting more water. Well, I finished this whole thing in under an hour. I could have finished it. I could have finished it last week. How do you like my new uniform? If I wanted to. Well. Baby, you are smoking. He try. He shoots. I know. Animus. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny too. A swing. Animus. Not interested, huh? No. Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. There he is. Can't go up there. Huh. Something seems familiar about this boat, but I can't quite put my ah, finger on it. Is. Hey, where's your tuxedo? Hello, fly. Finally, we meet under better circumstances. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know Mr. Stark was invited to this uh, to this function. I probably should have figured. Woo! Where'd Wally go? He's got to see this. Hey, fly! Why don't you go and get him? Okay. Spectacular. So he's well. Sharon was back here. Oh. Stark. Stark, get out of the way. I could, but I won't, but I could, but I won't. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> okay. As a matter of fact, <laughs> Jason Fly, our national hero. It's a great honor. What? I was trying to get- I was getting a running start. <laughs> I, was, I was just imagining Fly goes up to the guy just like, I'm gonna go by. Eh, whatever. I mean, I guess I could punch him. And I'm not gonna. POW! <laughs> he walks away a little bit. Gets a running- gets a running start and just decks him. <laughs> Yeah, what up? How do you like my new uniform? That's pretty good. Well, baby, oh. you are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny too. I know. I literally trained my face, no, trained my facial just... hair yesterday, no. Jones. What? Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. Ah, there he is. Hey, where's your tuxedo? Hello, Fly. Finally, we meet under better circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, okay. Did I just replay the whole segment so I could do that bit properly? Maybe. You'll never know. <laughs> Over there! Look! Bam, ba bang, bang, ba bang, bang, bam, bam. Um. Spectacular. Whoa. Now I know his arm is supposed to be in his pocket, but like Get down. I can't see a thing. that thing phased into his body. <laughs> wow. Okay. Whoa. So if I can't go back past Mr. Stark, I guess I'll go around the other way. 
You know, it's weird. Something about this boat really seems familiar. Oh, hey, Wally! Well, Sheridan, wait a minute. Sheridan? Sheridan? Hmm. Well, you didn't go out there because the door isn't open. Hmm. That goes down to the other side, so it's not there. Oh! Eco! Eco Magazine. Alright, where's Walter Sherritt? Huh. The hallway and the door. Huh. the fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly? <sighs> Wally Sheridan was number one the whole time. He's been here the whole time! Number one! We had number one with us the entire time. That entire last mission. Walter Sheridan. Yeah. You want to know what happens next? Read the graphic novel. Yeah, that's it. There were plans to make a sequel. There was a flip phone game released about this. But, yeah. There were plans for a sequel. Never happened. I don't know why. This is a damn good game. Ubisoft, Ubisoft really should have done that. But they didn't. No sequel for this game. And the fact that the uh, the remake didn't do too well, sale-wise, probably showed them, oh, people aren't interested in the game. No, people weren't interested in a buggy garbage, me garbled, a buggy mess of a game. Yet, they made the game, they made the remake, appar apparently, allegedly, I can't judge, base, judge it crap. Apparently they made it a crap, they made a crap remake, and so, I didn't actually bother buying it. So, yeah, one, uh, I got a couple of things in mind coming up. This is not the end of the stream, this has only been an hour, I want to go for at least another two hours. So I have another game light, I have another game... That I'm going to be playing. We're going from a game in 2006 to a game from 1999. I only today thought about doing it because it is part of a series I want to actually go through. I actually want to stream through. I will get it set up. I'll go on a BRB, I'll go to the bath- I'll myself go to the bathroom, but also get the whole thing set up, because it's gonna be a bit- It's gonna be a bit of a thing to get going. I have, a I have it mostly set up, but I gotta get it all the way set up. I don't really have anything to- any music to play, so it'll just be a silent BRB for the most part, but yeah. At least for this segment, this has been 13- Oh, I'm gonna switch over to a different game. Because I beat it. 
I beat this game, I'm gonna switch over to the next, the, a different game, which is going to be the Wednesday game, until I beat that. There are a few games that I want to do streaming stuff of, but I gotta, I wanna, but I wanna get through, I wanna get through games that I play. It was fun revisiting this game, Espe uh, as well as uh, revisiting it in my own time, doing literal, like, two to three hour playthroughs. I think the fastest might have been two and a half hours, but I haven't actually timed it. I really should time it. Oh. Sophie Coulson, the first to push 13. All product managers of Ubisoft who are doing an amazing job. The 13 authors for their full support and for letting us adapt the story and characters. This is an adaptation of a Belgian graphic novel is what this was. At some point I do want to actually read it. Oh. Huh. Daniel Beretta. Gunman. <laughs> Gunman. <laughs> David Duchovny. Jones is voiced by Eve. Carrington's voiced by Adam West. Yeah. So yeah, some pretty good, uh, pretty good choices or whatever. I like how Walter Sheridan is not voiced by the guy who's actually who's not voiced by um Joe Sheridan. Winslow is voiced by a Sheridan, and Sheridan is voiced by some other guy. <laughs> that would have been funny. Senator Sheridan was uh, voiced by Joe Sheridan purely for the name alone, but no, they did a pretty good job Everybody's voice actors did a, did a pretty good job. David Duchovny did a really good job uh, capturing a man who doesn't quite remember everything Yeah, I think it went all right. That was a fun game. So, I'm going to go into BRB. I'm going to run the ad break during the BRB so that nothing gets missed. This is going to be a bit of a longer a bit of a longer BRB though. All right. Let me just Oh, actually, I can also go to the main so yeah, got all the skills. We can go back to the main menu before we switch over to the game. Uh Mr. Bowman? It's been it's such such a, such a long, long time. time. Yeah, the whole story. I missed three documents. But yeah. We got the FBI file that um that uh that Colonel Amos showed us. Back of the FBI. The White House file, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the Steve Rollins file. Everything. Yeah, it's got a whole bunch. He wants to let you back in the group. Put down your weapon, man. Let's talk about this. No. Nope. I've got a class A hero mission Number one, number two, number three. Yeah. Kim Rowland. That's who Sheridan was talking to on the boat. Please, Wally, was my son. We had a deal, Kim. You were supposed to execute number thirteen. So why didn't you? And then he hit her. That's what that sound was. That was him hitting her. And I did it to me. All right. So I am gonna be right back after a little bit. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna have a different game coming up after this break. End of the 13 segment. And the game. No, 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 no. You know who else doesn't like that scene? My mom! 